Hello, welcome to JadeKind Gaming Presents the Observatory. My name is Bob. This is episode 81 of the 5th edition Shadow Kingdom Dungeons and Dragons campaign. I'm joined here with Austin as Mary, Beth as Jojo Jasmine Jamjar, Adam as Air Wolfgang, uh, Ryan as Mother June, and Nick as Maribel. We are going to be <coughs> picking up at the morning meeting. Morning meeting? Morning meeting. So. We're like midway through a morning meeting though, right? Yeah. A little bit. On Tuesday? Yes. Um, according to my notes. Yep. I Tuesday asked about August the fact before. that we'll need another IKEA array for the new home. Mm -hmm. Put on the planner. I say once the doctor sees pre sees it, foretells it, uh, we should uh Hmm. Have Mother June go renegotiate her contract in madness? Not today. Not today? Okay. Yeah, then that's 13 sounds good. Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, I bring up, I think, for the... We should just go in to the suburbs and burn the place down. Basically, tell the HOA lady, "Hey, give us fifty percent of what you take a year, or we're going to oust you." Or I murder her. Uh, is anyone particularly intimidating? Me. Anyone at all? <laughs> Me. And what, what even leverage are you gonna <laughs> have over? Uh. Either murder or taking over smear campaign, basically. Well, the the last thing that we were working on was me and uh, Hammerstein were looking to get the people who would actually act as her replacements in the area. That was the, one of the things that we See, were doing. See, that takes a lot more work than just threatening her, and then if she doesn't go through murder her after, then intimidate the next person, versus finding our own person. But they've done so much work towards this, so really it's not murder, more work than where we're murder, at right now. Murder, murder, but have you actually what? put in a lot of work towards that? or No, no I've been spending too much uh, time trying to make sure that my clerics were getting trained. Yeah. Ah, fooling around. So, we, we haven't started that, hence just the... Well, that's what I'm doing now, so, now oh, that I have time I off. With Molly and start a chant about arson. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, all I'm saying oh, is the elections oh, in like oh, three oh, days. Oh, so oh, finding oh, a oh, good oh, running mate oh, versus just threatening her and oh, seeing oh, where that oh, lands oh, out. Oh, if, if if push comes to shove, me and Mary will take care of it. But if we just burn down the whole suburb, how is the election done? Win. It's very hard to get money out of a burnt out suburb. It was also would have been very hard to get money out of burnt out slums, but we barely get any money out of that. I, I mean, how much is the uh, consortium actually getting us? Okay, so we don't murder everyone. We strategically burn down the houses of key important people, and then we come in as heroic saviors. Slums brings in 2000 Yeah, okay. Which is as much as the Red Horse District, frankly. Which is mostly a problem because we don't have that much in the way of assets in Red Horse District. Yeah. And why? No, no. What in the Red Horse brings in money? Like, we have no income from oh, this first you, zone. You get, uh, uh, that's uh, Doctor, the Doc's uh, creations and stuff that he was doing. Yeah. You haven't gotten it in a while. Yeah, and it'll move over to Blades once it's done. <laughs> But yeah, no, that's that's the doc's contributions of making drugs and explosives and things of that nature. Okay, while I don't fundamentally disagree with murder, we first have to threaten people to get money. And I not... threaten and I whip out my sunblade. See, we Grrr. would we would send in. What is your intimidation? Uh, I just assume you had all three charisma skills. <laughs> No, I do not. Oh, you don't. Oh. Yeah, okay. 
I, I'm I'm good at intimidation. I have a plus six. I have a plus seven. I possess the ultimate intimidation. Damn. Level three fireball. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is it because I'm bad at the charisma? Well, right now I'm a warlock, like level five fireball. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's like I say, it, it you can go search, but my thing would yeah. my suggestion is just disguise you up, go threaten her, and see if she caves. We, but we, we, we've got other people in that district that need handling. If you guys are so itchy, you can f- figure out what districts are next to the madness uh, one. Okay. I'm good at exploring. Yeah, go burn one of those down. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I've recently finished my books up on uh, mapping. I can go back to sewer stuff if that's what we want, but... I mean, that's always good stuff to have. Map connections between different areas. Yeah, I guess I can go from the horse's head over to the red horse. Because those we don't have really any of the horse's head area. We have a lot of the blades area and our area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we never got that. Or you could map in, into newer areas moving outwards is it is technically moving through our own area at that point mm-hmm. we've literally cloaked up corpses and walked them through that area and not gotten questioned mm-hmm. <laughs> well I, I just out of game know that Bob was like don't go to new areas finish off the ones you have so I think we need to concentrate on suburbia before we go that would be a new area we haven't mapped the sewers there yes well I just I, I was kind of Starting with you can't just keep skipping places, but then I the more I thought about it, and we've I'm like, skipped places. Skipping the places fact that we got is valid. You're just going to be facing the end of the campaign at lower levels. <laughs> but like so, so I've kind of changed my I, my opinion on that. So with if the you idea, don't want to deal with it. You can if you go from blade thread through res- residential, you could still connect those two, but get it, new information rather than horse's head where. We don't really travel through that much. Yeah. Okay. My, my question is, is uh, Adam's map accurate? I mean, it, it, ish. Ish. Uh, enough so that if I went north from the Red Horse Inn, would I be in Suburbia 2? Or is Suburbia 2 the, There is split? A, That white line might have been erased. He might have told me that he merged Suburbia and yeah, Suburbia were, 2. Yeah, that, that was erased. Okay. Okay. So, I just couldn't bear myself to d- erase the name Residential Middle Class 2 Electric Boogaloo. Okay, so what is north is suburbia. It is one big gold chunk. Okay, then I'll go, I'll do that. Suburbia 2 Electric Boogaloo? What the hell you want to call it? Well, it's still just su- suburbia. Yeah. It's all together. We, we got it, rid of the two Electric Boogaloo, so. It, it is Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> suburbia 1 Electric Boogaloo, got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's not the the reference. The reference is to a, a second movie that was. I understand the Boogaloo. reference. However, the fun part is the electric boogaloo. And just because you combine a district doesn't mean that the electric boogaloo part goes away. I feel like the fun part is being right. I mean, it could still be suburbia two, and people ask, "Where's suburbia one?" Like, exactly. Like, that's suburbia why I one? said suburbia two, electric like, boogaloo. Yeah. There is no suburbia one. There is only ever blue suburbia two. Electric boogaloo. Yeah, I remember when he mentions it. How, can you tell me how suburbia one? And you guys get this haunted, glazed over look. <laughs> you, uh, no, there's, there is only suburbia two. Austin's I mean, got this. Austin's on the same page as I am. Given that Eric was the originator of the city, that would not surprise <laughs> there me. There is a possibility. No, we don't <laughs> talk about suburbia one around here. <laughs> can I touch this? Why? Don't, trust me, you don't want to see what he did the first time. Hmm. People complain. People complain about the name. People complain about the name, but he threatened to bring back Suburbia One if we got rid of it. So it's staying. Hmm. And at this point, it's an institution. We grew up with Suburbia Two. What do you mean? There's just there is only Jeff, and everyone saw him born. Hmm. There is no Eric Rasprada. There is only Jeff. Only Jeff. Funny thing is, he's probably going to curse that poor goddess with the crime of having to stay in her godly realm all, for all time. And never all leave. I know is that I called dibs murdering that uh, druid wife. I have a bone to pick with her. 
Hey, nobody's stopping you. You can just go over there. Maybe one day. It's true. No one's stopping mm-hmm. you. You can just go and start do, murdering. Do you, know, do you remember what she did? She, like, healed me, turned into some animals, fought me, and tried to, like, put out the fire that I started to get us property. Well, what she did was cast Revivify twice, meaning she's at least 12th level. Still want to murder her. That's all I I'm mean, saying. Th- that is true. We got a lot better shot now than we did. Right, before. I'm level nine now. But you're probably not going to solo. Mm-hmm. Well, someone come along with me, murder her with me. How about you, Mary? Expand our gang to like fifty level one wizards with magic missile. I mean, <laughs> we are. <laughs> We're working on it. Just fifty level one wizards with magic missile and like one higher level person with counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> because we gotta stop that fireball. Yeah, you gotta, stop, you gotta that shield. stop shield. Mm-hmm. That makes them immune to magic missile. Or that. Because mm-hmm. I'd like to see anybody eat 51 D4s of the face and just go, okay, I'm okay. Because <laughs> that's base 50 damage, too. Yeah, base. You know, base 100, isn't it? it it's 1 D4 plus 1, yeah. Yeah, so base 100. <laughs> That would hurt me. I think it might even be more because I'm bleeding. Uh, I'd need to get two or three missiles at level one. True. Huh? It's a uh, three d four plus one, so base four damage. Base four. So oh, two hundred damage. Survive. I would no longer survive this. Yeah. yeah. I could have survived if it was all minimum damage because I have one hundred and four hit points. Mm-hmm. Yeah, three d four plus three is the actual damage. Plus three, oh, okay. Cool, because well, plus one for three bolts each. Oh, yeah, I wasn't counting that. I was only counting one plus yeah, one. Yeah, four damage base. Yep, six damage base. If it's plus one per each missile. 3d4, so minimum three, plus three. Six. Six. Yeah, yeah that's true. Ooh, terrifying. Well, well, welcome to your 300 damage. <laughs> Like I said, yeah, that's, that's the point. But Allah was, you just have somebody with counterspell. I mm. cast shield, counterspell, well, I counterspell, and you have a second guy <coughs> counterspell to counterspell to counterspell to make sure that shield does not go up. <coughs> and then they just get sucked into a brooch. It's like, where the fuck did you get the brooch? I'm pretty sure that brooch breaks after so much damage. After 50 uh, missiles. Yeah. Well, that would break that magic item. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it would get new. So... So, but then it, the mages would just be like, "What now? We okay, can't run again. Run? It's a level one spell slot. We just do it again." <laughs> what if okay. just yeah? And it, it's never hordes. Hordes would screw that group up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm. But yes, my day. Gonna go explore suburban sewers. Mm. Anyone want to come with me? Well, I'm going to suburbia, but I'm not going into the sewers. Good I'll go with you. I gotta work on the tower. Okay. What's your plans for the day? It's gonna read a book. Okay. <laughs> uh, have we checked in with all of our lieutenants? Can we pick up croissants on the way? I mean, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. And I we forget. We probably need coffee. One. Did you come to the main office? What's the main office? Yes. She is, specifically, she is there because I bought, brought food to yeah. the yeah, yeah, mansion. Yeah, yeah, the mansion has really good food because JoJo's not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perpetual <laughs> joke is the food is not where JoJo is. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely rude. But I just want to stop and get croissants and coffee on the way, and then we can go in, uh, to, into sewers. Uh, Steve's working on tower stuff. Uh, Jake's training paladin. Everyone mm-hmm. else seems to be uh, free, except for uh, Doomstair and... Uh, Isn't Doomstair, Spartacus, and... Uh, Doomstair and Abbott and Spartacus are working on the balance plate. Will you take yeah. Molly with us in case we want to set fire in the sewers? Uh, I'm taking the uh, two of them. Okay. So, yeah, that's all six of them. Three working on balance plates. And for croissants, yes. We'll go downstairs, get a craft of coffee and croissants. <laughs> because it's free here. <laughs> Is by it really? F- and oh, by free, I mean yeah. subsidized by us paying like a thousand gold per month to this guy. Huh. I didn't know that. So uh, technically I'm free. Yeah. 
It's comped the, no, by the no, company. No. The, yeah, the, the company pays for it. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so there's rooms here. That's why most of us stay here. But you just wanted to go to the doctor because Dr. Swan. As I look through the crystal. Well, no. The, 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 Do- doctor's hiding. Yes, Doctor. Yeah. Richter? <laughs> As Wolf, we're just... Dr. Wolfgang. 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 Oh. Wolfgang um, I had to see Wolfgang because I had to change my face. Oh. Per, per Mother June. Mm-hmm. She said I couldn't look like I did. So now I look like this. Mm-hmm. So we good? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll grab gather up some baked goods and a craft of coffee. Yes, downstairs and yes. head off through the sewers. Um, I'm I'm in my uh, zoot suit, and I am going to change it from um my cute pink and black dress to uh like all black coveralls. Uh, like I'm ready to go into the sewers. Okay. <laughs> As you Can change it to all, yeah. yeah. I got a 13. Okay. It looks pretty much like that. Yeah. Oh, it's and a, like the tennis shoes. Like, I got walking shoes. On, like okay. normal. No, not pool boots. You got tennis. Got tennis. <laughs> I'm ready to get dirty, basically. Yeah. As you tried to change to all blacks, like, you know, black, all black stands out more than, like, a model of gray for stealth. Oh. Well, it looks better. Okay. <laughs> Everyone loves black. It's the best color. Besides pink. Pink and black. Best colors. I will actually make a stop at the general store before we go down. You're buying generals? I'm buying How many generals do we need? One turn. Okay. Yeah, you can buy it for the standard. Mm -hmm. Ah, go away. All of us? Wait. No. Are you, why, well, uh, we don't have to, um, we can just use my, my sword and I have light. Well, if I was going to do that with a torch, this is just something I've been needing to pick up. Okay. And that makes a good point. Pull out the yeah, sword for a <laughs> Oh, it's my sword. Uh, yeah, think of how fit that sword is, how many lanterns you could buy. It I don't want a lantern, I like my sword. It stabs people real good. Mm-hmm. You could glue a knife to the lantern. No, <laughs> it would not stab people as good. This makes a whoosh. He yeah, also wouldn't be pink at candy cane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we will go to. I'll borrow the carriage, go to the north edge of the uh, district, then send the carriage back home. You, okay. We have rooms. True, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> you want to ride your broom? It goes wee in you the have air. A Griffin. Yeah, Griffin and I haven't taught to fly back home yet. <laughs> Nor did I want to bring it down in the sewers because then it would be a combat companion <laughs> versus a travel companion. <laughs> we gonna fight things in the sewers? It's a possibility. Ooh, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. I like stabbing people. Yep, that's why you're along. <laughs> and then we go into the sewers and start mapping stuff. Sewers. I don't map things, and honestly, I try to be as distracting as possible by talking about how cute Jim is. I mean, you're a girl, you're a girl, it's fine. Just doing some girl talk. Like, oh my gosh, have you seen his eyes and the way his hair looks? Oh, and his smile, he's so cute. And After he, about he's star. Sleeping, and he's After so After about 20 minutes, I create a, uh, just a rambunctious <laughs> pumpy with what my wild shape create familiar. Here you go. <laughs> Here, talk to this. <laughs> <laughs> I do snuggle and pet the puppy as we walk and continue to blabber on, but I try and include, is your name Maribel? Yes. Include Maribel. I'm like, right, Maribel? Like, haven't you seen? <laughs> Constantly. As I have this little strap on with, like, a table <laughs> as I'm going down <laughs> here mapping out stuff. <laughs> with your, your strap on. Yeah, my strap on desk. <laughs> <laughs> Big, veiny, triumphant strap on desk. <laughs> So you're you passed. I feel like your, it's the job done. You need to do a tool proficiency of calligraphy. Uh, cartography. Yep. Which. Um. Um. I'm a be perceptioning. Um. Um. For people. Uh. 
I will be casting Enhanced Ability and then going. What staff are you using? Intelligence. Ah, very good. Mm -hmm. In case you're like, I'm just doing this. Like, okay, that's fine. And then it's the Suburban uh, Sewers? Yes. 18. Okay. Uh, you're uh, mapping it out pretty well, actually. Mm -hmm. Let me know if I need to take more or just get 8% done in the day. Uh. Well, first things first. First things first. need that one. <laughs> the most important triangle. Sit there and think about what you've done. If you're, too, if you're up against Nick, you gotta use a lot of triangle dice. Yeah. It's, it's the true enemy. <laughs> triangles. It's the strongest shape. Okay, so as you uh, travel through working and you said you were percepting. So go ahead and give me a perception check. It, unless this blocks out my 23, passes 23. I mean, you're you're actively drawing a map. Okay. So. Can I actively be looking around? Yeah, you already said you were. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was in the box. Natural, Natural 20. 20. Okay. Plus uh, 7. Excellent. For 27. Okay, so as you're moving around, you uh, you hear like uh, like a, a oozy, gross noise coming from up ahead. I mean, it sounds real gross up there. Stop mapping, listen. It, it, yeah, you hear, uh, there's something that sounds like a prostitute skydiving. Just like weird, uh. It sounds <laughs> real nasty. Yeah. <laughs> like slime or like a hey, boneless? Uh, it, you don't know what it is because you can't really see it. You're hearing it at this point. <laughs> but does it sound like a boneless, which he has intimate knowledge of the sounds of? <laughs> I've had an uh, up close and personal experience. It sounds like it does not have bones. Is that a thing that we can fight? Do you think that's a thing that we should murder? Swing the uh, bullseye lantern up ahead, try to spot it. Bonus action without my sunblade. Okay, bullseye is 60 foot, sunblade's 20. Either of you have dark vision? No. <laughs> and nope. It, it's the bullseye lantern. <laughs> Um, uh, emanates bright light in a 15 foot radius and dim light in a, for an additional 15 feet. Yeah. Okay, so and it bullseye is 60 with 20 dim, if I remember correctly. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Did you not write this down? I wrote down bullseye lantern. <laughs> you, usually, people don't actually ask for the light stat. Give me a second. It matters. It does, but it's just not something that comes up. You thought you'd memorized it. Um,. And uh, while the blade persists, I can use an action to expand or reduce its yeah. radius to a bright and dim light yeah. by 5 it, feet it's, each it, it, to a maximum of 30 feet each or a minimum of 10 feet. Bo so I can get 60, it up to 30 cone. feet of bright and 30 more feet of dim. Okay, so yours is 60 foot bright, 60 foot dim. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just okay. extra just in case I get separated. Okay. In a cone. Yeah. I'm also, it's like whipped out. Uh, can I do this sword? Yeah, blade. So yeah, so it's also I'm ready to stab things. Okay. So. Yeah. Sixty bright, one twenty ten. Yeah, it generally anything that gives off light gives it the same amount of dim again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you're <sighs> walking along, you didn't say that you're doing so quietly. No. No. I was actively talking loud the entire time. Yes, you were. Okay. 
So yeah, you hear uh, noises, and as you look forward, I mean, there's there's water, there's a puddle up there, like yeah. a large, uh, like th there's a channel of water that runs through the source, and there's mm. like a large circular room that's kind of like a there's four paths going off of it, mm -hmm. and a large uh, pool in the middle. Okay. And that's where you heard the noise coming from, but right now you don't actually see what it could be. Should we get closer? Uh, You're about 80 feet away at this point. Uh, Rascal, go forward. Uh, Me? Uh, no, no. <laughs> oh, the dog. Okay, I'll let it jump out. Yeah, yeah. That dog's going to die. <laughs> that dog is going to die, but I wasted the wild shape on it. Go forward, Rascal. <laughs> so it runs uh, 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 up to the circular room and prances around a little, sticks its head in the water, pulls back up. <laughs> What's the AC of Rascal? I don't know. What's the AC of a familiar? <laughs> Depends well, on what it is. I'm going to say 10 at most. <laughs> I'll just you, give it... You really need to look up your, your dog. Your, like, your things. I'm trying to write more stuff down. <laughs> As I don't believe they have is stats for dog? that kind of... Well, I don't think they have stats for that kind of dog. It would probably be a cat. If it's, if it's that little, that kind of little dog. <laughs> because the only other dog we have is a Mastiff. Mastiff. <laughs> yeah, 12. 12 for a cat. <laughs> so it's just a, a dog. Mm -hmm. Small dog. <laughs> and what is a small dog if not a cat? Unless you want it to be a weasel. Well, I mean, that, you're terrified <coughs> of small dogs, so... Yeah, if you get a dachshund, it could be a weasel. Terrified of any strange dog. And but I don't know the dog. <laughs> so, 12 AC, 2 hits. 12 AC, how much health does that have? 2. 2 health? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so as the dog goes over to the thing, uh, a, uh, a, a like tentacle reaches out of the water, grabs it, and just... Can we see this? Yeah. What color? Oh. And a knowledge nature to try to identify that slime. Well, would it be nature, I should ask first. Uh, well. Ew, that looks really gross. We are in a sewer, so most of the monsters, at least it's not as smelly as some of the worst stuff I've smelled down here. Mm. <laughs> uh, sure, it would be nature. Mm. Uh, 28. 28. It looks like a uh, gray ooze. Gray ooze. Did you know oozes have uh, blind sight? Yeah. Add out to a certain radius, so you're not exactly sure what this one is. So do not look at gray ooze, right? <laughs> no, you don't get to look at <coughs> gray ooze. Well, I didn't know how much information I got on its uh, vulnerabilities or other stuff. I'll tell you. <laughs> you was fussing him. Look up your stuff. He's like, okay. Oh, now look up your stuff. No. <laughs> no, you don't look up my stuff, but if you're <laughs> summoning dogs, you should have the stats of the creatures you're summoning. Like, come on. Should we go stab it? Well, I was probably going to try to engulf you and drag you in, so. That doesn't sound fun. We shouldn't do that. It was a relatively large uh, pseudopod that you saw fly out. Mm. So, what range weapons do you have? None. Well, here, I've been meaning to get rid of these. I don't think I'm allowed to use them. Maybe yeah, you are. Okay. You're, you're allowed to use them, you just don't get all of your bonuses to chew them. Oh, they have to be a strength-based uh, weapon mm. for... Uh, I, I, I don't remember how many of these I had. No, but uh, just as a general thing, you should always have a ranged weapon of some flavor. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I mean, <laughs> just in general. Here, here's not, a javelin. Not, not, not JoJo. Yes, I only have one. It looks like, but here, have a javelin. Go ahead and throw it at that ooze. I have javelin. I throw. Can you make another puppy go by so that he comes out? Well. <laughs> No, that, that would use up my other wild shape. I, I want to keep that. Oh. 
I don't know how he did it. Yeah. Do you know we have a sacrificial dog? Did, did, did you bring your dog? <laughs> no. Hmm. <laughs> no, I put bubbles in the back. Mm-hmm. With my animals. Your yeah. dog. Yeah. Um. Anyways, the javelin has a thirty foot twenty feet. One twenty foot range. If you want to just throw it into the water, where okay, it I'll get closer. Um, uh, I will give you some rope and tie it around you in case you get dragged in, so I can try to pull you out cool, afterwards. Cool, cool, thanks. Uh, how much closer do you get? Um, I think it's. Uh, you said thirty feet. Um, the javelin. But tell you what, I'll fire with the light crossbow first. Take aim at where I think it is and fire the light crossbow. It's in the water. Uh, no. yeah. it, it's in the water, but probably is most of the water. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so go I ahead and uh, disadvantage attack roll. Mm. Six. Disadvantage means you roll twice, but if it gets worse. Oh, it probably is. I just want to see my bonuses. So that's 11. Or an actual <laughs> <laughs> It so did just get worse, actually. Hit, hit the wall above it the water. It, like, skips off the water. Um, um, did you have another crossbow that you want to shoot, or another arrow that you want to shoot at? Yeah, I have, like, 19 more quarrels. Well, I think at this point, we can go ahead and roll initiative. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to roll initiative. I get to roll advantage on my initiatives, and I rolled two fours. So I have a seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And it's the same as your vibes roll for this session. And Serene really come right in handy. Rude. I got 24. I only have a dex of one. Well, this might shock (laughs) you, but you get to go first. It's not my fault the dice betrayed me. (laughs) It also rolled me a net at 20, so like... Uh... First thing I do is sap, step ten mm-hmm. feet behind mm-hmm. JoJo and fire the crossbow again. <laughs> just shooting at JoJo. Not no, into no. me. <laughs> just into the water. Okay. Remember, I'm taller uh, than you. So, how are you? So you're just doing it off her light? No, I still have my light. I will attach it to my uh, belt. To your belt. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen or seventeen. So, uh, plus six. Twenty-three. Uh, yeah, twenty-three. Hits. Very close, but yeah. Uh, seven damage. As I'm just sitting here being completely mundane. I have spells. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Does it? Does the water react? Mm, I think he's wondering if I do anything with my bonus actions. Yep. Nope. I'm good. Okay. Uh, Jojo, as the arrow goes in, you just see it go and like uh, acidy disappear as it gets hit. Oh, that looked bad. That looked actively bad. It is your turn, though. It's my turn? Uh, They have a minus two to dex and rolled a two, (laughs) got a zero. It's like I actively knew why twenty four was meaningless. <laughs> um. So so I'm I'm going to um. I don't want to be throwing a disadvantage. Um. I want to also oozes famously known for their dex things. It probably has between ten and eight dex or AC. Okay. Um. So I want to. Uh, get if I get thirty feet away from it. Mm-hmm. I, how close did the dog get before it was taken in? It was uh, drinking at the water when it got hit. Okay, so it was like right up to it. So I want to be thirty feet away from where the water is. Okay, and then I will throw this javelin into the water. Okay, go ahead and roll for javelin. And because I'm 30 feet away, that was the short range. I'm good, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, is it a strength weapon? Yes. Uh, and would I be proficient as a simple or martial weapon? I believe it is simple. Okay. 
and d6 for okay. damage. Yeah, still might hit it. Four plus uh, my strength is four, so t- t- eight plus my proficiency, so twelve. Yep, hit it. Okay, cool. <laughs> and you said a d6? Don't roll a one. <laughs> okay, cool. D6. Do I, uh, can I bonus action rage? Uh, I, bonus action is rage, but you bonus wouldn't get, action rage. You wouldn't wait, get wait, wait, wait. your is this rage is damage to it. Uh, that I won't say that. It's uh, strength based, right? Yeah, strength, strength based, based melee. melee. Oh, you, when you make a strength a melee, uh, this isn't melee. It's rage. Attack. Okay, then there's no reason to rage. Yep. Uh, okay. Totally fine then. Um, I. We'll get an extra attack when I take the attack action, but I think I already moved. Mm-hmm. So you can move in between attacks. You can attack. I think move I moved attack. up. Yeah, yeah. You could still do that, but yeah. you only have one javelin. Yeah. Because I, I didn't javelin. write down that I had more than one javelin. Yeah, I probably totally did. But Wait, rolling damage. Five plus proficiency, right? Or plus no, strength. plus strength. So four, so nine. Okay. <laughs> Does it also get dissolved like acid? Yeah, it does. It completely dissolves. Does it look like it was hurt? It, it went into it. Okay. It's um, an ooze. Okay. Does jello look like a turt when you stab it with a fork? Uh, probably yeah. not. Um, when it's in water. Okay. Um, do I have back. enough movement to run up and now stab it with my... I don't think I do. I only have 35 feet of movement. I don't know how far away we were. Uh, you guys had moved up before you rolled initiative. Okay. So I think you were about 30 feet away, and he was uh, 40 because he took 10 feet back when he fired. Okay. So yeah, you're about 30 feet away. You can run to the water's edge if you'd like. Um, y- you didn't have to move forward to throw. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. Then yes, I am going to do that, and I'm going to uh, s- like stab into the water with my sunblade. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll an attack roll against Zeus. I'm regretting this slightly. It wouldn't be a disadvantage anymore. I don't... Okay, I, I said, can I make it my new longsword instead? <laughs> Not my fancy sunblade. Your uh, fancy sunblade's magic. Yeah, you can well, use your completely mundane mag- uh, metal one if you'd like. <laughs> Remember, it's dissolving you, things. The thing that you have goes away every time you click your button. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, okay. I. You don't even have a blade. We can save it. Okay. Then I'm. I'm. I'm sticking with the sunblade. I'm not gonna chicken out. Sunblade. Nineteen, which I. It's your attack roll. Yeah. When like twelve worked before. Yeah. So plus ten. So. Yes. You, you're in fact yeah. not a fighter. Don't roll a one. <laughs> not only is your sunblade dissolving, it's completely broken. Right, and it's not a critical hit. So roll, don't roll one. So I get um, I'm I'm not and using it's two. Radiant points. damage, right? Yeah, it's gonna be radiant damage, and um, I'm, I don't think I'm using two hands. I don't know. I'm just rolling. Yeah, uh, usually, unless you specifically say that you're using one hand or you're using a shield, I just assume you're using two. Cool. Then I'm you're rolling. Not, I'm taking the damage. Yeah, you're not damage. carrying anything in your offhand. There, there is uh, no. T- uh, and this, I'm not, I didn't rage, but it's just fine. Uh, ten. Ten radiant. Okay. Uh, it's, you, you add your strength and all that stuff. In there. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a four plus six. All right. Because it's a plus two weapon. Does it look like it hurt it? I mean, it definitely hit it. And, and is it trying to dissolve my sword? Because if so, I, I retract it. Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, appear to be affecting it at all. Okay, cool. So it... Like, uh, you see pseudopods coming out of the water. I have an extra five feet. I can move back five feet. Okay. I will do that. So, as you move back five feet, it now needs to do this. And I bow action rage. After the damage is done? Yes. Because I forgot to say rage before, and I was like, I'm not going to be... So I don't get the rage damage, but I am I am now raging. Okay. Because I don't so. want to get hurt. I just, I, I don't want to take. Oh, I have. I still have four. Okay, so uh, the 
water's kind of ebb and flow as it moves up to you, like a mm -hmm. large uh, object moving through the water, and the two uh, pseudopods come out and swing at you. Uh, 16 hit? No. Okay. Does... Uh... Nope. That's a crit mess, so yeah. So yeah, it, it just swings at you and you're like, <laughs> dodge out of the way. Cool. At which point it uh, uh, lets out a shriek and grows larger. Whoa. Okay. Is it above the waterline now? It is above the waterline now. You're no longer taking a disadvantage to hit it because it's hiding in the water. If it's bigger, it must be scared. Good. Get large to intimidate it's you. It's scared. It's scared! Alrighty, so, Nick, your turn. I'm going to guide and bolt it. Oh, look, that wasn't a one, so 13. Yep, that hits. <laughs> Not a one, perfect. Sixteen radiant damage, and Jojo, you'll have advantage on hitting it. Awesome, thank you, friend. Hey, you get, this improves your chances of critic. <laughs> Jojo, it's now your turn. Okay, I I, I, I hit it with my sun blade. Another nineteen. Nineteen. Nice. Um, twenty-four points of damage. Wait. Hold on. Let's do things. Um, Divine Fury, while raging, the first creature you hit in your turn takes an extra 1d6 plus half level of Radiant, which I forgot the first time. You weren't raging, so. Yeah. So now I am. So 6 plus 2 is 8, plus 6 is 14, plus my rage damage is 17, plus half my level rounded down is 20. Okay. That's your first hit. Okay, now I roll again. And I only had advantage on the first one, right? Mm-hmm. Not a one. Uh, 18. <laughs> yep, that hits. Okay. Um, and I don't get to add my six this time. Six plus six is 12. Do I still get rage damage? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, 15. Okay. Excellent. So now it's going to try and hit you. Come at me. It is trying to run off the thing. Uh, 21? Correct, that hits. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, 42 damage. Acid. Okay, I'm not resistant to that. And then does 11 hit? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, it's not gonna hit him when it does, it hurts! Uh, you're not wearing metal armor. No. Okay, so yeah. No, I'm, I'm wearing no armor, I'm just in my zoot suit. If I wear armor, I don't get to use things for my for my bonus to my... Yeah. I don't get to add my constitution. Uh, it just melts things that are made of metal. Mm. Like it, it strips metal armor. Would have okay. It would have melted my cool sword. I'm glad I didn't use it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, if I'm it's done. Non magical. Right. Doesn't have magical things. Okay. So that's uh my turn again. Yeah, it's your turn again. There is still a very humongous ooze. Okay. Big chilling. I'll go ahead and use my fifth level slot for summon Fey. Okay. Boop. Let's see. How far? 90 feet. So I cast it next to it. Okay. Okay, it'll be mirthful. It might not work. 
Uzos might be immune to charm, but it will up here face step across the way as a bonus action to the other because I'm assuming you could hit it from either walking area. Yeah, yeah. It, it's huge yeah. in size. It, it's actually bigger than huge now. Yes. So face steps across the way to appear. Uh, when it appears, take a wisdom saving throw against my spell save DC. Or... Be charmed. Okay. It is immune to charm. Mm. It was either that, make some darkness, which is immune to, or b take advantage, which... <laughs> it has eight. Good luck. <laughs> exactly. Plus nine to hit. Uh, Eleven. Yep. Uh, see, I assume it has uh, Maybe two d sixes. Yes, two d sixes. Uh, I'm assuming it has resistance to slashing or piercing. Uh, nope. Yeah. Oh, okay. Six. Seven. Uh, your face not using anything metal, right? It's a short sword, but it doesn't specify. It's uh, conjured of magic, <laughs> but non-magical. It's a fey. It could be like a wooden long sword. It, if uh, I could choose when I do it, I choose wooden, knowing it's a gray and acidy. <laughs> not that not hell. <laughs> it does not appear to be a magical sword. Mm. It's just a short sword. Yeah. I don't know. That's kind of a gray area. I'm going to have to look into that more. But at this point, uh, so it hit twice? Uh, it's hit once, and I'm doing the math. Okay. So so it has a minus one penalty to damage for the next roll. I'm okay with that. Uh, is all it does. Eight plus eight. Uh, 16 damage split between force and piercing. If it matters. Uh, yeah, no, nope, doesn't matter. Force. I'll get that force. Fourteen more damage. And now it's at a minus two. Thirteen more damage. Now it's at a minus two. <laughs> and then it'll spin. Yeah, it'll stay there to spray JoJo some support. So I get advantage if she's flanking? I don't know, huge creatures are weird, and I just meant so it might swing at it instead oh, of you. Okay. Because it face stepped its first action and didn't save it to run away. So that is my turn. So, <coughs> okay. Fourteen. Yep, that hits. Ten, fifteen, plus half my level, so nineteen, plus uh, three, so twenty-two, plus six, so twenty-eight. Okay. Still alive. Okay, attack again. Fourteen. Yep, that hits. Another ten plus six of sixteen plus three, so nineteen. <laughs> so as you slay through it one more time, it just <laughs> melts back into the uh, pool dead. That's some going to be some yucky water. By one. Nice. You killed it. You just killed it. Uh, oh, so it had a, it had eighteen left. Yeah, it had a total of one hundred and fifty-two hit points. Okay. Meaning, we, we did chunk through that quite quickly. Yeah. Uh, another knowledge yeah. nature for is there any? It's probably all ruined by the water, anyways. If there was any alchemical properties or worthwhile to salvage from this thing, uh, you can try to collect the acid. Theoretically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I, I can shape water and move all the water outside the area so there's only the acid in the bottom. Shape water is it can, can move m- like 20 or 30 feet of water? It can move 5 foot cubes. So and no. I can have two going. So <laughs> I, I might no. be able to get down to it. <laughs> this was a huge creature that was completely submerged in water. Did any of it end up on the walkways then? Yeah, there was a little bit of acid burning on the walkways. Yeah, I'll try to collect that in some vials. Okay. Uh, go ahead and nature it up. Mm. Nature it up. Plus nine, so 22. 22, yeah. You can have mm. a vial of uh, acid. I, is it the same as a standard vial of acid? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because well, I think I have. Yeah. Because I think. Yeah, I do have it. It's a vegan state. acid? Yeah, n- non GMO. Yeah, mm-hmm. non GMO organic vegan acid. Why would you eat this? Hey, just because it's GMO doesn't mean it's edible. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, just because I'm throwing acid to people doesn't mean <coughs> I don't really have some respect for my renewable status of my environment. But other than that, mm. uh, uh, yeah, phase. Uh, I continue concentrating on the phase, and he hangs out for the next hour. Okay. Let's go explore more. Mm-hmm. So now you have a phase to talk to. I will babble at the Fae about how cute Jim is, and oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm going to wear on this date. I forget, do I mean these you just You just hear in your head, kill me. Kill nope. me, please, kill me. Nope, you can stay here the full hour. <laughs> the fun thing is the date is this evening, and he's spending the day in the sewer. Just look over the date, look, look over that Fae, like, we made a deal, one hour. <laughs> look at the shiny gold flower statue I have. for this. You play with your soul. Okay, so you guys continue forward. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, go ahead and give me another roll. Uh, do you resume well, cartography? Because then I'll perception. Yeah. I uh, do uh, once the. Uh, w- would the favor run out by the next check? Probably. Okay, then I recast uh, enhanced ability. You just hear in your mind as it goes away. You made me stay the whole time. <laughs> well, I'm usually fighting for like twelve seconds max. <laughs> this is usually such an easy job. <laughs> <laughs> she had so much to say. <laughs> I bet Jim's not even that cute. <laughs> Jim is <laughs> scarred, isn't he? <laughs> yes, severely. So cute. <laughs> Basically missing half of his face at one point. So cute. Manly. Very manly. It's like rugged. Remember, we, we learned that from Fallout, the TV show. Women will go after anything, even a ghoul. <laughs> Encourageable, man. Outrageous. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, 19. Okay. Uh, you were continuing your cartography. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can perception. I pull fourteen this time. Okay, you uh, don't really see anything uh, too bad. Let's uh, hope you don't pull out CR eight all by yourself. <laughs> hey, they handled it. Yeah. I did. That was a CR8? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's below your level. Yeah. But we're only half a team, and it only hit once and took almost half your health. Yeah. And it had, what, four you, swings on you? Yeah, yeah, you are mm-hmm. wandering around with, like, most of your health gone. I'm not cool. bloody. I'm fine. As we're walking, I say, if we get into another fight, I'm going to turn you into a large ape so Mm. that you can beat the shit out of stuff. That way, if it tears through your health, if you die as the large ape, you're back to full whatever health you're at now. Uh, uh, I, I, I still punch things real good? Yes. Okay. Will I be a cute ape? You, you, you will be a giant ape. The most well, fearsome of lady apes. But will I be cute? By monkey standards, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, okay. Like, Only if like I'm cute. A real Lady Harambe. <laughs> I just like, and I just don't want to like be cute and like be not cute. And then you like tell Jim that I wasn't cute when I was an eight. Like, mm-hmm. it just, I feel like it'd be really embarrassing. I mean, so Coco was cute. As you're going through, there's a like an increase in temperature. Like, you, I know, like it's been pretty regular it's, temperature. It's like getting really hot in here. Uh, knowledge nature for hot springs and or, uh, wait, really? You're uh, in the sewers. It's getting very hot. Uh, knowledge check for if we're close to the uh, laundromat. Okay. Uh, twenty overall. Uh, I compare my surface level maps to my maps down here, and you know, I mean, you're relatively close, but not for this level of warmth. Yeah. Why is it so hot? I don't know. Ugh. We'll find out. It's so annoying. What, like, as hot as that desert was, or still just a humid, uh, you know? It's a drier heat, so it's more of a desert-esque. Huh. I'm surprised Mm. there would be a dry heat in the liquid sewer. (laughs) Yes. Very surprising. Yeah. So, uh, I will adjust our course to investigate that. So as you're going, uh, there's just, you know, uh, kind of a little bit of scorch marking Mm -hmm. and things of that nature. And then you just see a head snake out from around a corner. And it's uh, kind of black with glowing underneath its scales as the dragon head appears around the corner. Just goes, oh, you've come to visit. Are you tasty? No. Is it is it a bunny? It looks like a bunny. Is Why not don't you a bunny. come and get it, little bunny? What's that short one? I'm not sure. I tell no. Tiny little insignificant bug. Look at you. What Bell. color is this dragon? It is a black with golden uh like light coming through it. Mm, you're really pretty. I really like your black scales. Yes, Did we of end up I with am. magma dragons? Um, I mean, they're not core, but we do have fizzbends. I wouldn't be surprised if there's things there. Could also be in whatever adventure path. He, he, if he has helps, access to so it, much. Yeah, yeah, I have all the books. Yeah, yeah. He has access to so much just from it's, adventure paths. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's very lovely in your uh, lair. Yeah, obviously. I, um, I live here. We didn't, we didn't realize it was your lair, though, when we were Well, you haven't through. actually come in. You're kind of at the door. Okay. But I figured you were dumb, so <laughs> no, just no. just big stupid idiots. No, no, no. Listen, you can come in, but I will eat you. I don't want to come in, and I would prefer if you don't eat me. Well, yeah, obviously, if I was an insect, I'd prefer that our, my betters didn't eat me either. You're um, welcome, by the way, for even bothering. Um, so thank you. Uh, we'll, we'll head out then. Yeah, we'll just head on out. Back right. Um, <laughs> where where do your she's this our my friend Maribel is um making a map of this area? Just oh, we're done talking. So. Yep, yeah, back and away. Approximately. When you feel the heat, stay out of my kitchen. <laughs> was it all working towards that? Was it all working towards that, Bob? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Would, first of all, I would never. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Yes. Second of all, you would. You would do. You would do four sessions worth of setup to do a a, a pod. <laughs> <laughs> At least two about crayons and you know dragons that don't even exist in this you know edition. Oh, yeah. least, yes, they do. At least not that stupid. It's in Tome of Beast. It is a dragon, and that is part of oh. its personality. Oh, oh, yeah, they added that. Yes, we do have magma dragons. That's not a D&D product, but it is now on D&D Beyond. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a real thing. It yeah. says it on my list. I too. mean, it's, it's also right there. I do have it. It's a shelf up. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not core. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a kobold press thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. well, back up and yeah. map around the hot zones. Okay. I uh, think she as seems we're very walk- cool. Yeah, no, it, the fact that I didn't attack on sight. Um, I will go ahead and call uh, Mother June at some point and 
Tell her, like, there's a dragon in these sewers. That might be important. <laughs> <laughs> there is a magma dragon living in the sewers that's making it its territory. She's kind of pleasant. <laughs> kind of. That's my words. Okay, then. <laughs> so the real question is, how deep is that dragon? We would go out at some point, but there's actually something we should do right now. Well, it's a dragon. No, you don't. You don't. It's mostly just to mess with it because it's a dragon, and what greater pleasure than to fuck with a dragon? <laughs> What's it gonna do? Come up to the surface and find the thing that shot a suit, a green laser through the ground at it, <laughs> right into its brain. Should have gotten her name. I don't think she would have given it to us. But on the other hand, I have now seen her, and once we spend a thousand gold, I could theoretically scry on her. Oh, cool. Also, are we assuming it was a her, or did you say her in one of your sentences? She has a vibe. I've just been calling her Oh, her. yeah, I did pick that up. Made sure. Whew, almost thought I forgot it. What, Scry? No, a much better spell. What? Dream. Yeah. yeah. Dream. Okay. A spell with no save in a city campaign. <laughs> uh. po- poor Forest. I mean, once I get back to town, I, once I get the thousand gold shrine crystal, I'm going to, because either you or uh, Wolfgang you, you know, has been I, collecting I was, I was just thinking, most people, I wasn't thinking about forest. But if I'm thinking of it now, I don't believe there's a range limit on dream. <laughs> just every night, here, have some psychic dream damage. Oh, yeah. No, I, they, they get they a get save a, then. Yeah, they get a save then. I yeah, can just, just be there. Yeah, if you interrupt their dream or like try to cause levels of exhaustion, then they get saved. Yeah. yeah. If you, but you could just be there, like just in the background. Listen, we uh, all no, know you, the best way to ruin you, a dream you can is just up, exist. You can show up. You can change the dream. You can make them see things. You can talk. You can't do anything that will hurt them without triggering a save. Because mm-hmm. you can do that. You can turn the dream into a nightmare, and they like take damage and exhaustion, and it ruins their sleep. Yeah, yeah, but, but they that's can save for that. Yeah, they, they can just sleep. Just but showing up just and there. tweaking their dream, you can just do that for free. Yeah. See, I was sad. M- my initial idea with messing with Eva Jo was to convince the children she did bad things to them. You know, falsely accuse her. <laughs> but I don't get access to that. So, I guess that's the rest of our day. Yeah, Those yeah. two checks. <laughs> yep. All right. That's it. Mm-hmm. We don't get to buy anything else. You you found a dragon. We found a dragon and had to see our eight fight. That's pretty impressive for a sewer day. Yeah. It's usually just make some checks and your day's done. Well, I put up, but yeah, you rolled uh, for on the percentage dice. You rolled uh, for hard encounters, two of them, oh. and you dodged one and you fought the other. Okay, fair enough. That would be really sad if that hard encounter is just, there's a random magma dragon living down there, has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> well, if you had done something else, you could have wound up fighting them, and that would have ended really badly. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> For your half a party. Yes. Well, it was so pretty. Well, we fight her. <laughs> if not friend, why friend shaped? Mm hmm. Right. <laughs> I'm going to pet that dog. <laughs> But okay. yeah, that's right. Okay, so, uh, what are you doing? I wanted to twink tinker with the tower. I gotta go set that baby up. Okay. And learn how to use it and see what I can make with it. Okay, so you go to the plot of land. Yep. With the, the gate and the tower and all that, and you unlock the gate with your key, and it opens, and it just says, Welcome, new user. How would you like configuration? And it gives you like wizard tower, tavern, uh, ca- uh, small keep, manor house, or custom. Ooh, that's a good point. I had kind of had a plan, but I was expecting to be forced into a bubble for this. I mean, you can do custom where you can like just pre-build it as it is. Like you can go and just like have it look however it is. It's going to be like uh, the. Uh, the spell that uh, creates a magical tower for you to live in. Magnificent Mansion? Yeah, the Magnificent Mansion spell, basically, yeah, is yeah, what it's going to be. Customs. So you can you can customize it to make it look like how you want it to look. Because, yeah, yeah, I, I want to figure out how much of the tower Except is... Except, like, uh, if you take things out that are made in the tower, they can disappear, but you can bring things in. It won't be unsummoned. It's a permanent thing, but, like, you can't be like, 
oh, it's filled with gold, and then take the gold. It doesn't work. Right, right, right. It's but all illusionary. Can yeah. he get, like, a bunch of bathtubs with flowing water and then drop vampires in them? <laughs> I mean, they're outside. That's a bigger issue. Oh, uh, that would be outside in, like, the courtyard? No. Well, I mean, you could just put some... We are not going into Ryan <laughs> level traps. I am not discussing it. It's ridiculous, and I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> it was dumb as a player. I am not dealing with it as I a want to see, uh, so I'm guessing, I applaud like, all you. the actual rewards we got from the towers were the personal power of the gnomes. Right? Like, a tower doesn't get, hasn't had the power to, like, conjure up magic rewards. Oh, no. Yeah, it, that was all the gnomes. Yeah, yeah, that was the gnomes. This is just an illusion land. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But does illusional, illusionary booze keep you drunk? Sure. While I'm in the tower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to do... I want to see if I could try to... If, I, I guess it's. I'll have to wait to see if people actually try to come and test the tower. Because I want to basically keep the same puzzle illusion. Can I still do the things that like, the gnomes are doing with the illusion escapes and all that? <laughs> I mean, if you want to set up, set up so they could, it's a, a magical contract where they can eventually take possession of the tower if you do that. Oh, so I'd have to have rule. I did, so I can't just make illusionary tests of character. No, that it was a magical contract that oh. they had. Damn. So this is just a nice so, house. So magic was backing some of that, just yeah. like the concept. Well, yeah, I figured that. I figured at least some of it was backed by the gnomes. Like, it wasn't actually anything... It was the gnomes doing a lot of the work. They oh, had to uh, offer rewards. Yeah, I, I thought it was magic itself. It was like, hey, you put something on the line, we're going to give you more power to fuel this. <laughs> I mean, it probably offset the costs, mm -hmm. but I'm not a wizard. Then, yeah, I guess it'll just be a tavern. It's like, I wasn't sure how much of the magic I'd get to keep. If it's just a fancy illusionary place, then yeah, it's just going to be a tavern slash opium den. <laughs> Uh, on the assertion that it's not real, so as soon as you walk out of the play, you know, no... I have to test it for science. <laughs> you do have the hundred unseen servants and food and yeah. drinks and things like that. I don't believe narcotics count, but you can go and buy those. I mean, if there's alcohol with the food and drinks, then obviously some amount of poison's allowed. Listen, I'm not just no. <laughs> I'm also <laughs> Listen, to keep pushing that. the button and it's gonna get worse. <laughs> I'm saying that no alcohol. <laughs> the dragon comes back and finds you. No, you go in. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I got some ping that you're questioning the gods again. Uh, I'm here to kill I, you. Once I have it in place, can I change it? Like its appearance? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like one time set. Then yeah, we'll just keep it as a tavern and we'll test the limits on uh if I eat in here with this magic illusionary food, does it fill me up? Yeah. It also doesn't let you down. Oh yeah, nice. Do I suddenly become hungry if I leave after eating the food? No, I'm not doing weird substance rules because I don't feel like keeping track of it. Okay. Right. So it is just a really fancy magical place with free food. Nice. Does it have booze? And can the booze get you drunk? Yes, yes, you can't take it out of there and sell it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, but if you that. drink it while there, you're yeah. still drunk. Yeah. yeah. And then you leave, you don't get sober? No. Oh. Yeah. You know what I've had it? You know what I've had once and I just kind of didn't really care about? An entire bar full of that rarely fancy uh, whiskey I picked up that one time. Yeah, you would be able to... You've had it, so yeah, it would just be Man. walls and walls of just, incredibly just expensive bourbon. across the walls of incredibly expensive bourbon. Just decide to throw a date night for innkeeper and his wife. Come to my place. B model it exactly like the Red Horse did, <laughs> except with better food and booze. It's better. <laughs> what are you doing? I need, I need to try your finest dish. Just, like, once. Just give me a little bit of it. But yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to spend the okay. rest of my waking day doing. <laughs> Just screwing around in your new tavern. Yeah. Test this baby out. Okay. Uh, Adam, you're reading a book. I believe you have rolls. Yeah, the the the, the religion book. What do, I, what do I roll? I believe it is a straight intelligence check. Okay. 17. 
22. I don't know how okay. many of those I make. I'm pretty sure it's one, Two. once per every four hours. Yep. Eight on the other one. Okay. I am currently trying to figure out where I wrote that information down at. It's not there. No, nope, this is new divine, so it's not useful. <laughs> And then the old man. And then the old man. <laughs> Check out that campaign on alternating weeks now. <laughs> As we are catching up. Alright, I'm going to make a note down here and I'll figure out where you are in a second. Okay, Ryan, what are you up to? Uh, well, I make sure before I, I leave uh, the meeting for the day uh, to... Uh, Jesus Christ, though. <laughs> you know, just got all your feet out. <laughs> uh, talk, talk to Spartacus. I'm going to hand him off 500 gold and tell him to buy me a golden reliquary. And I give him the specifications. Of how it's supposed to look as in accordance with the iconography of my religion. What spell that go with? Summon. Ah. Okay, so golden roll of quarry. Oh, goodness, I apologize. Uh, it tells you he will pick it up to uh, pick it up for you and have to free tomorrow. Okay. So then. Oh, it's all the way up here. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, take me, Molly, and Hammerstein, and I tell them to go ahead and grab, uh, I don't know, like ten of their guys. Okay. And uh, we're going to be going to the suburbs with the instructions for our uh, uh, ten hangers on to be in the area, but not auspiciously near whatever, like surrounding us or anything, so we're not going in there as, uh... Okay, so, like, try to sneak. Yeah, yeah. Sneak, sneak or blend in, and don't act like, uh, we're going in as a... Okay, uh, so you want Molly and Hammerstein to pull ten of their people? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they... Molly just says, um, we're gonna need probably a couple hours to get them in. Okay. And uh, Hammerstein goes out and starts uh, working on it because they like they have them spread out to for networking for the his, her network like they don't come in all the time. Okay. Anyway, but Molly's still with me, right? Yeah. Okay. Then uh, if they have to go out and uh, collect them, then I'll have. Uh, um, I'll have Hammerstein meet us at a place in the suburbs and okay. when, when he gets uh, done. Um, whatever. I, I pick a whatever not a landmark that we can meet at. A candy shop, gotcha. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, Kinder Goodies uh, shop, so we'll meet there. Anyway, 
uh, for me and Molly, we can go on ahead and uh, ask uh, Molly. So she knows where um, this, uh, what was it, Katie Cinder? Or... What was her name? the description of this person the uh, uh, the lady who was uh, like well respected in the area oh Sadie staff yeah that's it yeah so Sadie staff sorry no T oh, okay so she knows where this uh, Sadie staff lived because uh, she already looked into that yep uh, and she was checking in on us so, so did you have any idea what her routine might have been? I mean, you only checked in her on the one day, but... I mean, she sometimes she wanders around, sometimes she stays at home. Mm. Well, I guess we can uh, check out the area. Uh, uh, with Hammerstein, uh, while, while we're, like, I guess walking and talking, did he actually have any... Uh, while he was with me on the day w that we were doing cookie stuff, did he identify anybody who could have been a potential ally for us in the area? Do not remember him doing so. Because I brought up brought him along for the cookie stuff. Oh, he was helping you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was his help thing. Was what you found out. He didn't get a separate role. He gave you the help back. Oh, okay. Pretty okay. sure, unless you cast spells through the entire thing. Uh, n no, I did cast uh, spells because I had uh, whatever enhance ability going with, uh, like, extend, and then I ended up uh, using a bunch throughout the day. Because I brought him along while we were doing the cookie stuff to get somebody that... Uh, um, he thought would be a good candidate for us to make as an ally in the area. Didn't you guys just make allies with everyone, kind of? I mean, we... I don't, I don't remember the exact wording of your things, but, like, my understanding was he was trying to suck cookies. Oh, no, no. The idea was is that we were acting as cookie cover, and he was trying to figure out if we could find somebody who could be our HOA replacement. Okay. Uh, well, probably the best option for that would have been Sadie Saf, seeing how she has a lot of support within the community. Okay. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, go over there, and I'll just... Uh, where, to Sadie's? Yeah, to wherever the area is, she, since Molly should be able to lead me there. Yeah, she can leave you to her house. Okay. So, we'll go ho over there, and then I'll just ask Molly to, whatever, keep an eye out, and that she doesn't have to be be with me there to to talk or anything. Okay. But, yeah, see if we can find this uh, Sadie Saf. Yeah, so you go up, and uh, Molly leads you over there. Or okay. do you wait at the, uh, the candy shop for everyone to be gathered? I'll go ahead and wait. Okay. I've got, um, I'm not time-pressed. Okay, so as you stand outside of the candy shop, it takes probably two or three hours after you get there for uh, Hammerstein to walk up and be like, okay, there's, uh, um, excuse me, there's ten, we've got uh, ten of my people here. Okay, well, if we've got a couple hours, then I'll, um, I'll spend a couple silver on the candy and make it nice with uh, uh, Kinder Goody while we're there. Okay, so yeah, he feeds you candy. Yeah, and give give some to Molly since she's here with me. All right, but uh, go ahead and uh, go in with Hammerstein. It's like okay, so we got people in the area, and uh, you can come with me now. Okay, so so you Hammerstein and Molly's going off 
to be with the other people. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go and mess with uh, Sadie now. So, yeah, as far as the two, we're, we're basically going to get a feel of whether or not that we can make uh, friends with her and see if uh, she could uh, potentially take over the HOA position and uh, kind of join us, or if uh, she's going to be too much of a hassle to work with. Okay, so as you walk up to the house, there is a kind of a bit of a bustle and a noise coming from the backyard, but... Are we able to get around to see what's going on in the yeah, backyard? Yeah, you can walk like, around the side of the house and look back there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check it. And it seems that uh, there's a couple people back there. There's like four or five adults and about 10 or 12 kids that are just seem to be like having dinner and the kids are running around and playing. So they're just kind of hanging out, having a very chill little barbecue. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. They indeed. Wait, it's some sort of friendly, friendly neighborhood? Where people are kind to their neighbors and thoughtful. They get together and have dinner sometimes. <laughs> Disgusting. But they're all mind controlled. <laughs> like monsters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, yeah, go, go back around to uh, the front and send Molly off just to keep an eye on things. Well, uh, yeah, they're already... Okay. So yeah, just me and Hammerstein then. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, knock on the front door. Uh, you probably would have to knock a couple times to get a response just because they're sure. all out back outside. But eventually uh, a gentleman comes to the door and goes, Yes, can I help you? Oh yes, hello. My uh, name's Mother June and I was... Uh, oh right, the cookie lady. Yeah, it is. And um... I was wondering, is uh, Sadie home today? I was uh, seeing if I could uh, take some of her time maybe to have a conversation. Oh, yes. We're just around back having dinner. Uh, if, if, if it's uh, too oh, much trouble, I can come We're back. having coffee now. Come, come. Oh, thank you. You can come and have a, have a chat. Who's your friend? I introduced Hammerstein. Yeah. Allow him to... Yeah, so you guys walk back. Mm-hmm. So, walk back and join in and going to uh, say and say hello to everybody as we enter and try to... Yeah, there, there's some people that you recognize from selling cookies too, but it, oh. it is really just a couple neighbors just kind of hanging out, chatting. Yeah, so I, I'm just going to, whatever, take some... Time to introduce myself to everybody and say hello and uh, kind of get into a friendly ease of the place. And uh, when I have the chance, I'll go ahead and uh, ask uh, Sadie when we would be able to have a um, uh, kind of get to know each other. Oh, uh, well, I think that. There should be a picnic coming up in a few days, or maybe next weekend. Uh, it would probably be a great time for you to come out and meet everyone. I mean, your cookies certainly were quite the splash. Oh yes, and I'm planning on uh, uh, continuing it, and say now that uh, we've uh, come through here, I'll, I'll be going throughout different places in the city in order to get more orders. And I'm sure the the bakeries are quite uh, happy about it since uh, <laughs> they'll be getting uh, plenty of business thanks uh, to this. Oh uh, yeah. But um, yeah, say I I had uh, um, going around the suburbs. I had uh, people had uh, said uh, that you were somebody who was important around here and that uh well i wouldn't say important i just i, well, I love people well you'd seem pretty well respected from what i understand oh that's too kind yeah. but and say it was uh just uh somebody that i had to meet if uh, all the lovely people here in the suburbs think so highly of you i'd just think that you'd be somebody that i should get to know 
Oh, well, yes, we'll, we'll have fun. Yeah. So. Alright, so anything besides the basic meet and greet? Yeah, so when whatever we we have whatever more just kind of like casual talk start and start asking her and see what the, she thinks about the, the um, upcoming elections for the HOA oh they're just going to elect the same uh, we're just going to elect uh, Sienna again I mean she's excellent there's really no need to change Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you she was doing horrible things? I, in fact, know of a opium den <laughs> that can vouch that she frequents there. <laughs> yeah, this is an issue way. You know she reports that rule about the, so the properly colored siding. You know she doesn't follow that herself, right? Her house is appropriately colored. <laughs> like, no, no, she insists that everyone else has white shading on their fences, but she has eggshells. I guess rules Ew. for some. Who likes eggshell? Yeah, right? Mm. Mm. So I heard she doesn't clean up after the dog when it goes poo. She does mm -hmm. a good. No, she, she actually encourages it to go into other people's lawns. Yeah, she's and then finds them for not cleaning up after their dog properly. But um, basically, the worst person ever. Don't even mm, have a dog. It's like uh, such so uh, that she does a good job. Have uh, you ever considered the position? Oh no, it's too much work. I'm I'm already really busy. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Doing doing what? <laughs> Is that who stay at home wife? I'm just your tailor. Okay. That's true. Women who stay at home are useless. <laughs> no. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> You make a good point. You make a very good point. Just a big step sorry. backwards for female I'm kind. Sorry. <laughs> Pay your taxes. <laughs> I'm sorry. The real villain all along was sexism. <laughs> Over here, building the patriarchy one brick at a time. <laughs> well, I mean, who else is going to do it? Certainly not the women. <laughs> Uh, oh, at least this isn't going on the internet or anything. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> oops. You see this whole little setup? What? The whole campaign so far has been put online. Oh, we yeah, said some horrible stuff. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! What is tragic series of events that have occurred? Uh, okay, so yeah. It's like okay, so. Busy, doesn't want to do it, think, thinks the other person's doing a good job. It is kind of the general impression you get is that people seem to think that she's doing a good job. Yeah. You've got over a bus. She's actually doing a good job, too. Not enforcing <laughs> mean rules, paying like the appropriate stuff, not misusing funds. Yeah, it's almost like this is an evil campaign. You're the bad guys. <laughs> Oh, I well, didn't we consider like to be that. that. We justify. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we're the baddies? No, of course not. Let's get back to the death, to the ship. Let's go back to the ship. <laughs> hmm. I notice we have a lot of uh, lots, a lot of skulls on our shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Wait just a second. Are we the baddies? Mm -hmm. Uh, something that I uh, pivot to and ask her about is um, uh, over in this uh, part of um, whatever in this uh, district, uh, would there be any place uh, as far as like available land that would uh, be available that I could end up uh, setting up a uh, church or maybe even just a small shrine for uh, followers of mine to be able to go to and pray? I'd have to check the bylaws to see if it was allowed, but I don't see. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm sure there's something that could be purchased. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there was that house that burned down recently. <laughs> there was that house that burned down recently. <laughs> what? <laughs> Completely unavoidable fire. <laughs> I don't know. Right. I was just spontaneously combust all, all the time. And then two people got murdered. 
Five Three masks? people got murdered. <laughs> no way, I wasn't masked for the murdering. So, um, uh, there's a reason why you had to change face. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily that the <laughs> other lady druid <laughs> saw you. It was all of those people who <laughs> gathered for the <laughs> ringing alarm as you murdered two druids. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, you did convince a lot of them that that man murdered your father. <laughs> <laughs> Justified. <laughs> he deserved to burn for his crimes. <laughs> I made up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So yeah, you'll have to uh, check through the HOA handbook to see if you're allowed to build a shrine or a place of worship or business in the community without approval. Da 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 da. Okay. Have fun with your legal people. Hmm. Well, still, that'd be nice to go to the picnic and I can be able to talk to people. The 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 what now? Picnic. Are picnic. Sure? The picnic. Picnic. It's a picnic. picnic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's basically what you do with your day. Anything else? Uh, I mean, you've got all of ten agents and Hammerstein and Molly with you. Yeah. <laughs> ten agents. You could ask about the yeah. more influence. He's huh? got ten spies with Hammerstein and Molly with him. Hmm. He pulled uh, all of basically all of Molly's network in. Wow. But um, they're gonna murder and, anyone. They, they're rogues. Yes, Maybe that's their spy network. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Molly's spy network. Just move in and get rid of the. P- <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like, like why are you're we surrounded murdering? by sneak attack right now? Why aren't we murdering? Just, just go thing? in. You bothered to pull them. Murder them. <laughs> you can go. come back to the next morning, Speedy. Be like, you know how I decided talking. Well, she's dead now. <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Renette approves. I, I haven't hear. even sensed motive if she's evil. <laughs> Yeah, and could uh, yeah, sense love doesn't sense alignment. Yeah, no, just if, if in, she's inside. hyped up on racial purity or something. I don't know. What you, you called her queen bee and bee or set for wife? Isn't that like a I, gang I, of ladies? What I don't. Know. <laughs> I may be completely misreading. It's someone in the social circle who like arranges everything. Is like, hey, you know, we're having a pool party. Why don't we get all the kids together and to go? Or hey, let's get everyone get together and go to zoo. It's the the, the person who's like oh. organizes all the social events. I thought it was a single lady mind controlling all the other ladies in the cults. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Nick, you're the bad guys. <laughs> Hey, to be clear, if she was mind controlling everyone in a cult, she would be bad. Mm-hmm. If that you know, have we considered scenario. mind controlling them into a cult? <laughs> hey, Actually, you're there. You have that. Ability. You should mind control them into the cult. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> how 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 much effort does it take to convert someone with your your talk? Okay. It's Along? like a DC seven or three. Mm. If but, Kenneth well, taught me I just mean it, he just has to go get the current HOA lady and convert her. <laughs> yeah, we tried that last time. We uh, still made no money. We we could get our levels and move on. <laughs> <laughs> As we just take over more and more of the city, doing no money management with it ever. It's like, no, no, we controlled that area. Doing what? No one's fighting us for it, but you're not doing anything in it. But they're not fighting us about <laughs> no, it. No, we have control. <laughs> We're just trying to get control. We are. We can go through there as needed. <laughs> It is a strategy. <laughs> it is one of the strategies of all time. I mean, it's our preferred strategy. <laughs> I, I, I believe we've only kind of been evil in the suburbs and Balanced Blades area. You've murdered several people. That's true. Adam did murder everyone in the Horse's Head area. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> just take all changes just, guys and look for the other influencer that we missed yeah it's just like yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh wrap up uh, the section of talking to sadie here and we're gonna go off and do something else okay well okay bye bye yeah, nice meeting you <laughs> 
thanks for coming to my house randomly strangers <laughs> she didn't seem upset about it at all like yeah. she was pretty happy to have new people coming to her and talking with her and like spending time yeah, yeah. And she, she likes being an extrovert like a psychopath mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she loves meeting new people like a psychopath mm -hmm. there aren't people out there like that <laughs> That doesn't no, exist. That like, doesn't listen, exist. you brought up dragons and oozes in this campaign so far. This is the most fantasy creature you've ever seen. <laughs> no, no, people don't like people do exist like that. It's, it's wild. Okay, so you know what? I'm actually gonna give you time to figure it out because we're pretty close to the end, anyways. Sure. So we'll just go ahead and end there, so you have like a week to think about how you're gonna use it. Sound good? Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe, stick around, check out all the things on the channel. Thank you. I already said thank you guys so much for joining us. Well, come back and join us again. Bye-bye. <laughs>